Hello, Masoka Universe. Can I get quite some mileage out of this shirt? I uh, was actually thinking about the away shirt too. We have the title going down the, the wire in the Premier League, uh, which we cannot say for other leagues. Um, at least not uh, in the top five. We have already Italy decided, we have already Spain decided, France is decided, um, Germany after today, Dortmund playing 2-2 at Bremen, Bayern winning at home to Hanover is now four points clear, two games to go. Themes more or less decided, can be done next week already. Uh, despite Bayern having not so easy schedule, but you know, you always can count on Bayern of winning. So it's the Premier League. And it's kind of funny because the Premier League, I don't want to say it was, uh, I mean, it was not my favorite league to watch uh, at the beginning of the season. I always, and I have been quite consistently saying that for me it is Serie A, La Liga, and then the Premier League. I actually watched more French League at the beginning of the season than I watched Premier League, but I got into it. And quite so, especially this title race is riveting to the core. And funnily enough, I remember I was, you know, I never was, I mean, I was once, I, I thought Liverpool is a cool club, although I knew about all the hooligan stories and so on from the 80s. But, you know, you always, I remember the UEFA Cup winning, not that I was, I was not necessarily for them in that final. But I recognized them beating Alaves by 5-4, uh, five, that uh, they played great. And this was kind of this cult team that we have to watch. Uh, it was only this, yeah, the forgotten Champions League final that actually really put a dent in my uh, sympathies for Liverpool. But I know when they had their title around 2013, I wasn't following that closely. We're wearing this jersey, uh, to be frank, because I didn't have the means. <laughs> I was not watching that much soccer that uh, uh, then, but I think at that moment, as the latest when they got Klopp, I really thought they could do something. Uh, last year's Champions League run, yeah, was already something. Definitely want them to win the final, but this year it fully grabbed me. And I wouldn't mind a uh, Guardiola team winning. It's just Manchester City with, uh, you know, the backstory behind that. So tonight Liverpool is playing Newcastle. And we had earlier today Palace beating Cardiff. So Cardiff is down. This means for me that Brighton at the last day of the season has nothing to play for than honor. Um, now this is me as a Serie A fan saying, yeah, not nothing, but all they let City win. At least the one thing I can say about England, uh, I know it that Brighton will give it their best. It won't be a walkover. And Newcastle today were not walkovers either. Yeah, it seemed at first, you know, um, very early on, Van Dijk got uh, through a more or less free header. Uh, the one nil, he got away from his defenders, got the one nil, um, and then. I thought, yeah, Liverpool is going to play this home um, rather safely. I knew that Newcastle is not an easy uh, place to play in. Definitely not easy, uh, like many people made it out. They were in good form and I'm sure that... Um, what's his name? Coach. We have it here. That's embarrassing, honestly. Yeah, Benitez, Rafa Benitez. That's embarrassing. I have his head. No, I'm just not. Uh, knows about it. Yes, he, is, he was a Liverpool man and manager, but you know, he also wants to uh, do his own team and, you know, it would be a big win. So, yeah. Uh, in the 20th, Atsu, Atsu gets uh, the 1 1. There should have been a penalty in a red card for Alexander Arnold. Um, he touched the ball with his hand, the ref didn't see it. Uh, so then slots it home, it's 1-1. To be honest, this is probably, although it was a goal, and probably many people, uh, Liverpool fans were dejected. This was the best thing that could happen in that game. The refs, I don't want to say a big thing, but the refs were not against Liverpool today. Let's put it that way. Um, 
then uh, just gonna get um, Paris hits the woodwork. Thundering shot takes it, hits the woodwork. Could have been two on Newcastle at the time. And Newcastle looked really great going forward. However, on the backside, after a free kick, they're defending again badly. And you could see they are standing around Salah. And suddenly Salah sneaks out and is free. I mean, he has seven meters in all directions. Gets the ball, heads it in 2-1 Liverpool. And maybe if they would have played a little bit more, um, how to say direct with a little bit more precision it could have been maybe 3-1 not that Newcastle was worse but I think at that moment they were a little bit broken however Newcastle came back there was a, a little chance by Sturridge the beginning of the uh, second half but right after that Rondon I think it was after a cor corner kick uh, gets saved ball comes back and Rondon doesn't take a second just hits the ball straight in the net 2-2 and Liverpool was shaky at that moment. Uh, I could have well been a 3-2 and Newcastle really deserved this equalizer. They were well in the game. Uh, and you know, if you think about it, Newcastle beat City already, so not that small of an opponent. Uh, and then again, uh, injury caused a little bit of a break in the game. It was uh, after a cross into the box, um, the um, a goalkeeper Dubravka comes out and hits with his uh, hip uh, Salah on the head, who is completely knocked out. I mean, you could see him lying there. He was there, but you could see he's not there and anymore. It took forever to uh, take care of him. I mean, not in a bad way. It really, it was a long uh, injury break. And shortly after there was another one. And you already knew there's going to be a lot of time added. Uh, Shakiri came on, Origi came on for um, Salah. And when he came on, I thought, yeah, he has not shown me much since his great winner against uh, Everton last in, I think it was in November, something like that. Uh, that's when really I think Liverpool Mania started because that was a game that they needed to win to stay behind City. Uh, you know, close close to City. Um, I think if they would have not won this game, I think we would never have had this title race. I think this is for me a pivotal moment in that season. And yeah, uh, it continues kind of a little bit more again Newcastle. You could see this breaking. It was a little bit like the Ajax game um, during the week. Uh, Spurs and Ajax. Spurs, by the way, losing two red cards and a stoppage time goal conceded. They will still remain in top four, but, you know, even if Arsenal wins, but then how many you win, but uh, it can get shaky. But um, there was then free kick given, that was not a free kick foul on Fabinho, it was not a foul. Uh, if you see it again, this is not the foul. Shakira takes a free kick, hits Origi, the two substitutes, and it's 3-2. Uh, and from that moment on, I think Liverpool kind of controlled the game and um, played it home safely. There were eight minutes added on time, but it was nervy. Um, I think if you wouldn't know what's hanging on these, you would say these were the most boring eight minutes of soccer. Because with the ball bouncing, you everyone kind of nervously trying to get something. You get the high balls that are hard to control. Um, I think Liverpool killed of four minutes. I can't kind of less, well, less four minutes were a pain to get over with. They did it, they win. Two points ahead of City. City's playing Leicester. And to be honest, yes, City has to go to Brighton. City has to play at home to Leicester. If City does not win on Monday, Liverpool are champions. And they have a difficult game against Wolves. But I think this will be it. Uh, if City wins against Leicester, I think City will play this home safely. I 
don't trust. I don't think that Brighton will have any, any anything to do. Wolves is a very uh, is not the, necessarily the best opponent, but you know, if you want to become champions, you gotta beat Wolves at home. Sorry to say, you also gotta beat Leicester at home. Other things so stays interesting, and probably on Monday, I'm gonna make good on my promise. I'm not gonna watch Milan play Bologna. I'm gonna watch uh, City play Leicester. It's gonna be, I am not getting a lot of sleep next week. I can already foresee that. Maybe I'll get some sleep uh, tomorrow because, uh, yeah, there's the Lazio Atalanta game, but other than that, there's not much. I follow Lask a little bit, but there's not much to play. Uh, really interesting soccer wise. I have to check still what's there, but I think that's more or less it, uh, the top four race in uh, Italy. Maybe a little bit top four stuff in England as well. Let's see what I will decide on it, how uh, family will go. Uh, other things that I saw, actually not too much. I, I told you a few results already. Um, I saw quite some of Espanyol in the new home jerseys against Atletico Madrid. It was a 3-0 win, uh, on goal by Godin. And then Iglesias, really nice uh, goal, got a nice pass, made it 2-0 in the 54th. And then a penalty. That, yeah, I think you can give uh, made it 3-0. I saw Barcelona to sell to the Vigo. I saw Inter played only 0-0 at Udine. That's basically it. And we, I already said Germany. Bayern, I think, is through there. Uh, Dortmund had a 2-0 lead at the halftime in Bremen. Gave up two goals in the 70th and 74th. It's just not enough. I know Bayern doesn't have the easiest run in. I still think it's done. I really think it's done and dusted. Uh, also Gladbach losing uh, Frankfurt, if they could get a win at Leverkusen this weekend, they would look really good for the Champions League spot. Ah yeah, and the last thing I saw, PSG Nice, I knew I, I saw that Nice took a very early lead in the second half. Uh, PSG got the equalizer, I didn't see that, that, that one, but I saw that Cavani stoppage time missed the penalty. I feel sorry for Cavani, um, I think he got to leave PSG. Anyway, um, I said I will have, will have an unpacking video. Uh, I will have it in the evening. I already shot it, uh, but I think I want to get this out first. And tomorrow in the evening, you can see my unpacking video where it has also the new Juventus shirt. And two more. Hope you will like it. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments what you think about the Premier League title race or any other uh, games that happened today. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that might be of interest to you too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates on my channel, all things My Soccer Universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day.